please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Promise, let's get our conversation go going with the management of Green Ply Industries. The stock is in focus. ICICI Securities has upgraded it to a high conviction buy from a hold earlier. So let's discuss the business prospects now with Mr. V. Venkatramani, CFO of the company. Mr. Venkatramani, I'll start with, uh, you know, the guidance. Uh, when we last sort of heard from you, you had spoken of, uh, you know, much better outlook, particularly for the MDF business and the volumes there. 25% uh, is what you had shared with us. Are you on track with delivering those numbers, sir? Yeah, sure. Uh, in fact, uh, I think uh, we are at a much uh, better inflection point today than we were earlier. Because uh, earlier we had uh, projected that the plant would, new plant would start operations in September, of, uh, October 2018. But now it's projected to start earlier, probably in July 2018. So I think we are on track for uh, achieving those numbers. All right, Mr. Ramani, if you could give us some details about the plant. Uh, what is your current capacity? How much more does the new plant add to your existing capacity in both the plywood as well as the MDF segments? Okay. Uh, our present capacity in MDF is 1,80,000 cubic meters and mm -hmm. we are adding another 3,60,000 cubic meters. So in that sense, uh, we are tripling capacity from 1,80,000 to 5,40,000 cubic meters. In plywood, our current capacity is uh, 32.4 million square meters. We are adding another 13.5 million square meters. That's a 40% uh, increase in capacity. And again, and uh, for both of these, sir, uh, you said that the commissioning timeline has been rolled forward. So uh, it's For the MDF plan, not for the plywood. Not for plywood, for only, MDF only for MDF. Yeah. Okay, so please carry on. Please carry on. And uh, we are also doubling our capacity in decorative veneers. Uh, with a new plant in Gujarat. All right. Uh, so, uh, what could the revenue potential of this be in the uh, initial year itself? I remember you telling us it could be around 300 to 400 crores in additional revenue once the uh, plant reaches optimal capacity. In the first year itself, what kind of revenue addition can we see? Uh, for the plywood plant? The MDF plant. Uh, the MDF plant, uh, uh, no, the MDF plant at optimum capacity utilization is expected to give approximately 950 crores okay. of revenue. Mm -hmm. So we could be targeting about 350 crores in FY19. Miss that number, sir. Could you repeat that? Mm -hmm. FY19 is how much? 350 crores. 350 Three crores. Five zero. Out yeah, of that. 950, which you will get to when, you know, it's, it's fully on stream. That's correct. Okay. All right. Uh, Mr. Ramani, you know about your plywood business. The first half of this year, you've done a volume decline of 3% as <clears> against <throat> Century Plyboards, which has done a volume increase of 2%. Over the last few quarters, we've seen this trend diverging a bit. Any particular reason why you are underperforming your peer and have you lost some market share? I think uh, it's been uh, due to our, uh, you know, emphasis on maintaining the working capital that... Uh, we have lost some uh, market share in plywood. You've lost uh, margins as well? Uh, not. We have not lost margins. In fact, uh, we have improved uh, margins in plywood uh, despite uh, you know uh, lower top line in the current year. We have been uh, implementing uh, cost control initiatives in both the product segments. So volumes have, uh, margins have improved in both the product segments. And... Uh... The divergence between you and Century Plyboards in the margins front as far as uh, plywood is concerned, do you think that can narrow going forward? Uh, it can narrow a bit, not significantly. Uh, but uh, then uh, Century's uh, plywood margins have come down to a significant degree in the mm -hmm. current year uh, with uh, their business in face veneers uh, reducing significantly. So I think, yes, uh, going forward, our plywood margins can move from currently about 10.5% to about 115 to 12%. So, uh, Mr. Venkat Ramani, just a question on the balance sheet as well. I mean, with this sort of a capex now pretty much, uh, you know, coming to fruition, uh, what is the debt equity ratio like? How much did you invest in this plant and uh, how's your gearing looking? Okay, so we are investing in approximately 730 crores in the MDF plant, about 125 crores uh, in the plywood plant, and approximately another 40 crores in the decorative veneers uh, business. So that's uh, in total, we are investing approximately 900 crores. And uh, with all these uh, expansions being completed, our debt equity will be somewhere between 0 0.65 to 0 0.7. 
All right, we ask you that because we want to know the exact debt on your books right now as compared to what it was six months ago. Because your finance costs, uh, they seem to have come down. But if you take a look at the numbers, it appears as if the debt has increased. Could you clarify on that? Yeah, the debt has uh, increased uh, because uh, we are borrowing for the new plant. Mm -hmm. But uh, since the interest on that is getting capitalized, uh, okay, you so know, you're capitalizing interest. interest. Costs are, that's correct. So only after the commercial production starts uh, will the interest be taken to the PNL account. So now, sir, with uh, as you gave us the guidance for FY19, 350 crores of revenue coming in because of the new MDF capacity. Uh, what's the full year guidance, if you can leave us with, at the top line level for FY18 and revenue growth guidance for uh, 19? Uh, so we should, we are still targeting that five to seven percent uh, top line growth guidance uh, for FY18, mm -hmm. and for FY19 we are targeting approximately twelve to fifteen percent uh, revenue growth in the plywood business, and twenty five percent and twenty five percent plus uh, revenue growth in MDF. So on an overall basis, you will do twenty percent and twenty two percent revenue and net profit CAGR going forward. That's what we are targeting. That's that. All right. Thanks a lot, Mr. Venkat Ramani, for joining in and giving us all those details. That was the management of Green Ply Industries, the stock up 1%. But over